There are significant differences between the new Toyota 7 Series and other Toyota and conventional brand forklifts. What makes the 7 Series so special? It's the system of active stability, Toyota's latest advancement for more stable forklift operation. The system of active stability includes the active control rear stabilizer and an active mast function to reduce the risk for lateral, forward, and rearward tip overs. One controller or computer is used to control both functions. To understand the benefits of SAS, we'll first look at the relationship between the center of gravity and forklift balance. When there is no load on the forks, the center of gravity of the forklift is located slightly below the operator's seat. When a load is placed on the forks, the center of gravity moves forward. The counterbalanced forklift has a counterweight at the rear to offset this forward movement of the center of gravity when a load is on the forks. If the load is too heavy, the balance is lost between the load and the counterweight. This potentially could cause the forklift to tip forward. If the center of gravity moves outside the stability triangle, there is a high potential for the forklift to tip over. This potential for a tip over increases as the speed of the forklift increases. On a conventional forklift, the rear axle is supported by the center pin located at the center point of the axle. This allows the axle to swing up and down, raising and lowering the tires on each side and absorbing the shock caused by uneven travel surfaces. Due to this center pin design, the forklift is actually supported at three points, which form a triangular area of balance. On the 7 Series, when the swing lock cylinder operates to lock the rear axle, it actually changes the number of support points from 3 to 4. The square created by these four points provides a larger area in which the center of gravity can move. The active control rear stabilizer uses information sent from various sensors to determine if the forklift has entered into a potentially unstable condition, such as swinging to one side when making a turn, or when there's an acceleration of lateral gravitational force when turning the forklift. If an unstable condition is determined, the active control rear stabilizer temporarily locks the rear axle to increase the lateral stability of the forklift. Under normal conditions, the swing lock cylinder extends and contracts with the movement of the rear axle, allowing the rear axle to pivot laterally at the center pin, just like on conventional forklifts. Whenever an unstable condition is detected, like during a sharp turn, the computer sends a command to the electric solenoid valve to stop the flow of oil inside the swing lock cylinder. The swing lock cylinder piston is prevented from moving, which prevents the axle from swinging. As stated earlier, the system of active stability includes the active mast function, which has several key features. One of these features is the forward tilt angle control. This function improves material handling stability by controlling the amount of forward mass tilt that is safely allowed when lifting a load. Another feature of the active mast function is the rear tilt speed control. It makes sure that mast rear tilt speed is slow at high heights and normal at low heights. The automatic fork leveling control function makes load handling safe and easy by stopping the mast in the vertical position. This is done by pressing the tilt knob switch while tilting forward only. The SAS computer uses information from four different sensors. Also keep in mind that trucks with SAS will require resetting, or in other words, recalibrating, to accommodate any change in specifications, such as changing masts and or attachments.